Hello and welcome back. I sat down and watched the first two episodes of Velma, so you don't have to. And I will not be watching any more. So I'm finding it hilarious right now. It's very rare critics and fans are in agreement. But this is getting absolutely roasted. And there's a handful of people blaming review bombing and misogyny and all of the buzzwords. And no, it's just terrible. Like this show feels like it was written by AI. <laughs> the humor is bad. And I mean that, the humour, that's the big standout here. The jokes are not funny, it's that meta-human. Oh gee, I'm glad there's not two shirtless plumbers around. You know, funny porn vibe, which is just bizarre. There's no Scooby-Doo in it, because they don't actually have the rights to Scooby-Doo. So there's a whole thing. Where do we start with this show? Velma is portrayed as a South Asian American. Okay. She is bisexual. That That's literally her only character traits. She she has no real character other than some mummy issues and blaming herself for her disappearance. And it's just ridiculous. Fred has been reduced like every white male in every piece of television cinema right now to a moron who does absolutely nothing. And then we have Shaggy who has been race swapped and portrayed as an emasculated black guy, and I find that deeply troubling. There, it's it, seriously. And Daphne has been race swapped to East Asian American, and um, honestly, she's just bitchy mean girl vibe, and it just doesn't wash. This show doesn't wash. The writing is terrible. The characterization is terrible. It's not funny, and it falls into this very toxic space. And honestly, and I say this with complete, and it's very rare I would say this, this show is racist. Like, there is an undercurrent to this show that just makes my brain melt. Like, there is this undercurrent towards everyone, and I'm not the only person picking this out. Whether the character is black, Asian, white, whatever... There is this weird undercurrent and stereotyping throughout this show, which is uncomfortable. Also, the sexualization of 15-year-olds. Hi. Um, this show is embarrassing. And I mean that. I mean, literally, like... the ser On Wikipedia, reception series has been mixed. Reportedly, a 53% approval rating from 19 critics. I, I mean, it this is a... It's just such a bizarre way to do an adult Scooby-Doo. And I think the myth is, and I saw this on Twitter from someone, I can't think who it was, so I'm sorry for quoting you without your name, but along the lines of that adult cartoons don't have to be um, crass. They don't have to be rude. They don't have to be swearing. And they don't have to be just reductive. We They can deal with adult topics and not be fart jokes. And I'm using that as a synonym for something else because... I don't want to get this video banned. I mean, I can, a lot of people compared it to the Harley Quinn series, and I do have some problems with that. It actually did this better. Um, I mean, even Variety called the show irrelevant to a fault. Um, I mean, I mean, even uh, like some people are praising the art style, some people are praising the look, and it's just like self-aware slog is another quote, and I have never genuinely seen anything so bad in my life. I don't, th I say this, Mindy should stick to the Mindy project, that's the only reason we like her, and I don't like her after making the show. Um, I mean, I mean, this is one review that I found really interested, Jinkies, this radical reworking of the beloved mystery machine team, Miss Drink Team has plenty of attitude and style, but it doesn't have a clue how to turn it clear, this clear into this subjection into energetic fun. Like, who thought this was a good idea? Like, th there is a great book. It's called Meddling Kids. Just Google Meddling Kids book, and you'll find it. It's a kind of an adult, slightly strangery things take on Scooby Doo, and that does it so well, and it's so well written. This is not funny. This is not funny. It's not interesting. The meta humor doesn't wash very well. I mean, IMDb, it's got 1.7 out of 10. 1.7.
out of 10. I mean, it's the second lowest rated series produced by HBO since Santa's Inc. I'm, I'm just putting this one out there. Like, this is just... Like, who? Who? They could have done this. They could have done a decent, interesting take on Scooby-Doo. But fans of Scooby-Doo want Scooby-Doo. We don't want toxic. That's the best way to describe it. We don't want this toxic reflection of the modern world. But I, I watched it through and I just sat there in complete disbelief. Thinking, this was written by AI. The jokes aren't funny. When it's trying to be funny, it do, it's even worse. And the meta humour doesn't wash. Portrayals are... And I hate this word with a passion, but it's the best way I can, I've can i got because I'm trying to think of words that won't get me banned on this app. Problematic, with big fat air quotes. I mean, this, this has got hot garbage. No one's review bombing it. No one cares about it. We just hate it because it's terrible. I just... I'm going to try and find out more about the making of this, but I get the feeling the show's going to be quickly buried... Because that's what's going to happen. They'll premiere the whole series and then very quickly there'll be no making of or anything. But this is just bad. From start to finish, within the first two minutes, I thought, oh God, what is this? Like, who thought this was a good idea? Why not just make a grown-up Scooby-Doo? Why not just make Scooby-Doo? And now they've cancelled the kids' Scooby-Doo show... So I have feelings that this won't last very long. And I just, I know this is a bit of a rant, but seriously, who thought this as a concept, as a creation, as something else was a good idea? Who wrote this garbage? I just, my God, it, I, I knew it was going to be bad. I didn't know it was going to be as bad as it turned out to be.